Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and welcome to the 30 days of API testing with Rest Assured, guys. In this series of 30 days, we are gonna master the Rest Assured API testing, guys, and we are starting from scratch. So, if you are a totally beginner, right, I'll recommend you to watch, uh, to watch all the videos, go day by day, and perform the all the tasks that you that is given, right, and make sure you comment down below or go to the Facebook group where you can share your task that you have done right we are a community and i want you to be successful so make sure you do the task right these challenges have changed my life and definitely can change yours also right so don't uh, one more request from you uh, is that uh, don't forget to like share guys and if you think this uh, challenge can help somebody else or uh, then i will recommend you to please share these videos and as well as if you can uh, just like it right yeah so make sure you do, do the task and let's start the day one lecture i'm totally excited guys so let's start right hey guys welcome to the testing academy and welcome to the course of master api testing with rest assured guys in this video we are going to learn about the client server architecture first of all let me tell you why it is important and trust me guys uh this is looks like a very theoretical concept like what is client server right but it is important means i have been into industry for more than 8 years and let me tell you a slim, simple concept uh this was the question when i was uh, i was nearly around the 4 years and 5 years i was trying to switch to some to other company right the engineering management i have i have done 4 or 5 interviews extensive 5 4 or 5 interviews and after that uh on the last interview this person comes to me and ask me what happens when you type google.com or maps.google.com into the browser and he was just looking for the exact answer that i am going to give you in this video and trust me guys i have seen lots of people are confused about the client server architecture and in this small video i'm going to explain you what is it and why it is important to know what happens when you type google.com into your browser right i'm excited to share so let's get started right so let me make myself a little bit smaller yes right so what we are going to learn about it in this video right we are going to learn about what is client server architecture what is an api and web services and basically quiz and answers so we can have about so what we are going to run learn yeah so what we are going to learn about this so we are going to learn about the client server architecture and i'm going to give you one task that you have to do it and put it down in the comment because trust me guys these stars are important and definitely will help you uh, when you are learning it when we are basically passing the api testing with rest assured right and these tasks will help you trust me right so before we start just wanted to let you know so, so let's start with what is exactly a client right so a client if you talk about right it can be a computer that i am using right now it can be a computer that you are using because you are watching this video right and it can be a mobile it can be any host that you think about that basically sends a request to the server right and uh, the request they are sending they are using the stpp protocol and they are using some url and they receive a particular response and in the response they receive what they receive is that they receive some documents right uh, for example if you go to google.com you are basically requesting a resource or a index to page index dot html page that basically resides on the server of a google right uh so let's talk about what is so let's move what is server actually right a server is basically nothing but a remote machine which is a machine which is somewhere over the internet right and that receive a request from the client right so i am requesting a google.com uh it receives by a google server right and that uh server will basically send me a response uh a res a a any kind of a resource for example i am if i am requesting index.html it will sends me that response and it can send me the response using the stpp protocol and if they are using stpps which basically the secure version of the stpp stpp i think right 
so uh, this is the typical flows looks like we have lots of client we have computer uh, mobile or any other kind of a host that basically sends a request to the server server is nothing but which basically uh, it is kind of a a program or you can say anything uh, which is continuously running and which is ready to serve the client right so whenever it receives any kind of a response it basically manipulated and give you whatever you are requesting it basically give you in the stpp response make sense yes right so what so let's talk about the important question that uh, i have already told you about what happens when you type the google.com right so when you enter the google.com or in your client browser right for example if you have chrome browser right you just type the google.com so the first thing happened is that it will so uh the first thing happened is basically the dns lookup which is basically nothing but uh you have domain name right you have domain name right so domain name is nothing but a fancy name of a particular address right so what is the address address is just a ib address of a server right so uh, the first request is made by the browser to a dns lookup right so dns lookup uh, will basically tell you the ip address of google.com that you are requesting right so now when you have the ip address of it so it basically sends an stpp request right or it can be stpp as a secure secure one right uh, that request is basically received by a server and that server will basically send you a resource that you are requesting. For example, in this case, we are requesting an index.html and that index.html received by browser, it will basically render into a beautiful google.com page. I hope that makes sense, right? Uh, so that is the answer that they were expecting actually. And trust me guys, you uh if you have like two years three years of experience this is one of the question people will can ask right uh so today's assignment what is the assignment for you is that uh you need to download google chrome if you already have enter google.com verify the dns lookup for me basically you need to check up uh check the what is what's happening in the dns lookup what is the ip and uh now if the resource is found google display you can look into the network tab so let me show you what what do you want by this right uh so you need to open the network tab uh, uh you can click on this icon more tools developer tools right go to the network tab let me move myself here right and uh, there are like lots of requests going on right let's delete them and type google.com right so this is the request which uh, which, which was made and we have made a get request right so it's the stpp as a request which is secure version of stpp which is hypertext transfer protocol and here we so we have a response which is nothing but a html page that you are seeing here which is getting rendered right so that is what happened so let me give you one more resource which is the this one right so if you go to this website you can check uh for example uh we want to check what happened what is the dns lookup and what is the ip of this right so i had i just google.com and it will do the dns lookup which is exactly done by the browser right and as you can see it has multiple ip addresses that you can so you can get the resource of basically the source of as detected html from it, right uh so let's talk about the next task which basically uh you can read the wiki page let me zoom out here yeah you can read the wiki page i will highly recommend you to read this wiki page because it has explained uh, it has a great explanation about the client server model and the second is what happens when you type the url in the browser right it's a wonderful answer by one of uh, this was the answer this is one of so which basically a seven step process uh, similarly i have explained you like you have maps if you type maps.google.com it will basically uh, do a DNS lookup. Uh, you get the IP address, right? And after that, uh, it will basically request the server for the resource, right? You will have a TCP connection with the server, it's, right? Uh, and uh, after that, it will send you STPP request. Uh, basically, you have requested STPP request. It will send you a response. And that's response that you are seeing in a rendered form, right? This was a video about it. And uh, I'll... So... So I'll recommend you to do this task, 
right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.